Krishna joining me now of the JDU Pavan Verma and of the Congress Sanjay Jha. Pavan Verma, first of all, this uh, at the end of the you know at the end of the day, it now turns out that there is another person from Bihar who is the opposition's candidate, the opposition who uh, it seems that JDU let down at the last minute. Uh, what do you say about that? That many people are saying that it's going to be tough call now for Nitish Kumar. Perhaps things didn't go the way he thought it to be because now he's actually turned his back on a woman candidate from a woman Dalit candidate from his own state. I think what I want to say in this context is that you do not appreciate the manner in which the decision was taken by Mr. Nitish Kumar and the JDU for extending support to Mr. Ramnath Kovar. Please understand that the decision was taken with due application of mind and the widest possible consultation within the party and on merit. Mr. Ramnath Kovind was the governor of Bihar and during his tenure he had displayed an impartiality and a constitutional propriety which was clear to all observers in Bihar and in particular to the chief minister who has to interact with the constitutional authority. On that basis his personal record and the fact that he did represent a community which was one of the most backward, has been historically one of the most backward in the country. On merits, we took the choice that he would be the kind of person who would serve the office of the president with dedication, sincerity, impartiality and in conformity with the constitution. That decision was not ad hoc, it was not reactive, it was not done pursuant to somebody else's decision. It was a decision the party took, Mr. Nitish Kumar took, on the basis of considering the candidate and on merit. And let me say to you that that decision is something we will stick to. You will stick to, but how will it work out in this fight, which is what I asked you. The fact you, have, you didn't really answer my question of the message that it sends out, because isn't it true that Nitish Kumar initially in all the entire thing that you know, he backed the Congress, that he perhaps initiated some of that bringing everyone together. Is there a message that goes out when he doesn't back In fact, after I, I, that? I, I, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you, I'm glad you asked this question because the selection of the person who will occupy the highest post of the land is neither, not necessarily a matter of confrontation. Secondly, all parties have the right to decide on who they will support. Thirdly, this, the choice of who the president will be is not the key to the forging of an opposition unity, nor has it been in the past. Some parties can support one candidate, other parties can support other candidates. And in this context, let me specifically give you the example of what Mr. Nitish Kumar had decided when he was a member of the BJP okay. and the Alliance but supported Pranab Mukherjee on merit. So I want to say to you that the presidential candidate is not necessarily a matter of confrontation. Parties have the freedom to decide on who they believe will best be, will be the best person to hold that post. The JDU went through the motions of applying its mind okay, transparently, publicly and in the fullest consultation and it has made the choice. So Sanjay Chha, is that acceptable to you? How do you respond to And no to other what? inference needs to be drawn from this. Okay, but, but there are people who are drawing things, conclusions from this. Sanjay Chha, what do you make of what Sushil Modi told NDTV? That this is, he said that JDU is helping them as well in matters which threaten your alliance. How do you respond to that? One of your alliance partners, the JDU, has helped them in exposing another alliance partner. You know, Sunitra, you know, Sunitra, I think uh, I would like to focus on the principal point of the debate, really. Uh, first and foremost, uh, something that cannot be denied 
uh, is that uh, Srimati Meera Kumar Ji's uh, credentials are exceptional, excellent credentials, and she has an extraordinary uh, political career track record. I mean, that's beyond dispute. I need to be uh, more forthright here. If you compare Mr. Uh, Mr. Covin's um, entire, uh, you know, kind of profile and, and compared his uh, historical performance vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Meera Kumar Ji, I think that I think it's very obvious who is a more superior alternative. Uh, to be the president at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Now, you know, one has to, one will agree with Pawan. I have a lot of respect for Pawan. And, you know, when, as JDU is, is a member of the Mahagat Bandhan in Bihar, uh, but, you know, he's right to the extent that end of day, even if we are part of a, a grand alliance, uh, there, there is, you know, you remain an ind independent political entity with some issues on which uh, you will hold possibly a very contradictory or a divergent view. Uh, but having said that, I mean, you know, the only point that I think what Mr. Lalu Yadav made today after the announcement of uh, the candidature of the opposition parties uh, was that he will request Mr. Nitish Kumar to do a rethink, uh, given the fact that, you know, end of day, if you really do a, a direct comparison, uh, you have an excellent candidate possibly who can win with the support if all opposition parties get together. I, see both uh, I don't want to get into the politics of, of what the BGP what says, uh, Sumitra, for the only reason But I wanted to ask you, you brought up what Lalu Yadav said, you brought up what Lalu Yadav said, Sanjay Jha, I wanted to ask politics. you, Lalu Yadav also said, agar wo gaye to gaye. So everybody, are you in denial about the prospect that JDU may be leaving and this, this backing the presidential candidate is just a precursor? You know, I, I'm not likely to comment on speculative uh, gossip, but you know, there is only one point on which I think uh, Mr. Yadav was uh, really kind of driving home today, that given the fact that the opposition parties were going to meet today and announce their candidature, uh, I think the only, only I think, uh, viewpoint that one had was that should the JDU have waited uh, for the announcement of the formal uh, no, candidate you're, from you're, our side you're avoiding that and question. then made a Pavan public Marma, stand. Do you want to take but that please question? remember that you know everybody is still entitled to revise their thoughts and views. And let me tell you that there will be an attempt to mobilize uh, you know kind of support for uh, Srimati Meera Kumarji by talking to all parties, not just UPA, but including NDA allies. I mean, you know, I'm sure that now that people will have enough time to reflect very okay. dispassionately okay. and okay. then evaluate Pavan the Marma, candidates I know you uh, in, a, in a very there, neutral sort of a fashion. But a lot of people are talking about the, the fact that, is. and Sushil Modi has said, has not denied that even he thinks that this is a com total possibility that you are moving towards the NDA because he talked about the long relationship you shared and the fact that your party is even helping now with the expose on Lalu Yadav's Benami properties. What do you have to say about that? Is this a precursor or not? Give us some closure uh, on this. I will give you a clear-cut answer honestly. First of all, when Mr. Sushil Modi, for whom I have otherwise great respect, makes the insinuation that he is being supplied with information on Mr. Lalu Prasadji, whatever that information he claims may be, I believe and I want to say on record that we categorically deny it. Okay. And perhaps Mr. Modi is doing so to create a further rift in an otherwise uh, 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 Gadbandan or Grand Alliance that is working smoothly in Bihar. That's right. Secondly, I want to say to you and to my good friend Sanjay that opposition unity is one thing. The choice that you make for a presidential candidate who is apolitical and should be that and, is, and should be of a caliber to be above politics and a position to fulfill the constitutional mandate. Mm -hmm. These are two things. Opposition unities are built on a credible narrative, on okay. a pan-Indian solidarity based on an alternative vision of India, not about who you back for a presidential con con uh, choice or, or the fact that that choice must be based on confrontation. Now, Mr. Nitish Kumar has even in the past shown yeah. an independence of mind based on an assessment of caliber and merit. Okay. If the Congress can deny the fact that he supported their candidate, Mr. Pranam Mukherjee for the president's post, point. breaking with the NDA, why cannot they accept the fact that he is doing the same Sanjay. thing now? Okay, Pavan Verma, we're totally out of time. Sanjay, if you can wrap up in a line, that's all we have time for.
Do you think? But you don't have the numbers. I know you are saying that Meera Kumar, you're going to go everything, but you don't have the numbers. Are you still hopeful? Uh, Sunitra, very quickly. No. You know, we are, we are very optimistic. We'll be trying to mobilize as much support for her as possible because we believe she's the best candidate for the Rashtrapati Bhavan. And okay. I'll tell you only one point here, Sunetra. Yeah. I think the concern that we have is that, you know, Mr. Kovind may be a Dalit and that's what the BJP is, you know, going to town about. But don't forget that he's a, a part of the larger Sangh Parivar and we know what the RSS ideology is, how okay. divisive and how co completely anti-Dalit anti it is. So okay. there are a lot of internal contradictions you that still have to be addressed going forward. As a private sector to Murarji Desai. Yeah, and, and, and the other thing, Sanjay Jha, you, you say you're optimistic, but perhaps one of the things that Pawan Verma has said very, very strongly on the show is that they are not changing their mind on this. So you said you might be lobbying with them, but perhaps it won't have any impact. That's it. This is, of course, continue over the next few days as well. The fight, it's really a fight now between uh, Meera Kumar and Ramnath Kovind, the two candidates for the presidential race. And that's something we'll be tracking as well. That's it on the show. Vishnu Shom is up next.